Jonathan. When you have a difficult decision to make, where do you go for help? WWJD. WWJD? Oh, right. What would Jesus do? Yeah, you know, I just sit down and I think of what Jesus would do in the situation that I was in. And, you know, if I still can't come to a conclusion, I'll just pray. Yeah, prayer is a really important part of my relationship with God, too. It's really cool how I always know where He wants me to be and what He wants me to do. Isn't that such a cool feeling, knowing that God's always there for you to help you through the good and the bad? Yeah, I try to make my relationship with God a top priority. And although sometimes it's hard, I know I'm a more happy and more peaceful person because of it. Yeah, me too. But I, I wonder if other teens feel the same way. Well, we're about to find out. Because today's show is all about putting God first. Hi, I'm Alicia. And I'm Jonathan. And, and this, this is, is Real, Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. Today we will meet Karen, who will tell us how putting God first in her life comes naturally. Our music video is all about putting God first too. It is There Is Only You by the Small Town Poets. We also will talk to our studio guests, but first let's go to the teens on the street and see what are the most important things in their lives. What are the top three most important things in your life right now? Um, work, school, and sports. My education, happiness, and my friends. Probably uh, family and friends and I don't know, just religion probably, that's a big thing. Work. My boyfriend and my mom. Family, friends, and family? Yeah, I have to say family and friends. I really don't know what the third one would be. I say money. What are you going to do with nobody's prayer? You need money to survive. Yeah. Money is everything yeah, in this money world. Money is everything now. Ooh. I don't know. My friends, family. I really don't know the last one. Oh, my family. Yeah. And the few friends that I do have and just being happy, really. Probably my family. Sports. And more family. Oh, my mom, my dad, my grandma. School, sports, and family. Uh, I'll go with sports and family and school. Uh, my family, my friends, and my guitar. My dad, who taking care of me by himself, my sister, and my little brother. Uh, my family. My family and my family. Family, friends, and my religion, I guess, yeah. Um, my family, my friends, and my religion. Hoagies, rest and education. Family, friends, and faith, that's all it is. Please don't tell me that that one guy said hoagies as one of the three <laughs> most important things in his life. The hoagies are pretty good, though. Well, let's see what our studio guests rank as their uh, top three priorities in life. With us today we have Nicole, Sarah, Ross, Anna, Vanessa, and Martin. So guys, what are the most important things in your life if you had to rank them one through three? Mm, I think if I had to rank them from one to three, probably be my religion, um, God, my family, and music, because music is a huge influence on my life, mm -hmm. and it's just great. I love it. I would say is number one, God and religion, same thing. And number two, my family, my friends. And number three would be school, sports. Cool. I'd have to go number one is God. Two would be my health, because if you don't have health, then... Mm -hmm. And number three would be friends and family. I would actually have to say number one would be health, two, religion, and three would be family. I would have to say God is number one, family is number two because they are my best friends, and three, just kind of like the things I like to do, school, kind of all general stuff like that. Uh, I would have to say number one would be my family and friends combined, number two would be uh, my faith all I believe in, my values, and number three, like Vanessa, things I like to do, like things I enjoy doing. Yeah, um, uh, mine would be uh, hoagies, I mean, God, uh, <laughs> no, I like food, but uh, I think God's before hoagies, just a little bit, yeah. Then I'm, uh, they don't have to say family and friends, because I consider my friends my family, and I would have to say music third also, because it's a way that I like to express myself, and everyone needs a positive outlet. But uh, yeah, God's most important. I'd have to agree with you that my faith is my most important thing in life. And a close second is my family and my friends, because I care about them so much. And third, I would say, is my calling, um, things that I like to do. 
and helping other people and things like that. A lot of you guys said that your number one priority is God. Why did you say that? I think God is my number one priority because I think God is basically the foundation of everything that we live for. Um, I don't think a lot of people would know where to go and they'd stray from a lot of the beliefs and everything that they have if they didn't know God or if they didn't feel God was their number one choice. So I think that's why I picked God most important. That's a good point. Yeah. I put God number one because everything that we love, everything that we cherish, everything that's important to us, He created and without those things it wouldn't be worth living. So. Without God I wouldn't be here so I mean that basically sums it all up is why I would put Him first. I put Him second I mean just because health, I, it's kind of biased and my mom always said you know health has to be first you know put health first and I, I do just because I think that a lot of people don't take care of themselves and if you take care of yourself you'll have good health and then as a result you can enjoy what God gave you. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. I said God just because God is my best friend because I've had a lot of trouble with friends and like my family's always there for me but you know sometimes like they fail me in certain aspects but God is always there for me and he's someone that I can always turn to and he's someone that when I talk to I don't have to hold anything back I can just tell him everything and like pour out my heart and that's why he's first. Yeah like like uh, Vanessa said you can think of God as your ultimate best friend someone that will never turn his back on you he's always there to listen to you he never talks back you know he's never going oh, I have a problem too and you know think about him he's always going to be there for you He's, it's so cool. Mm -hmm. He's given you like everything you have and he wants to even give you more and watch you enjoy what you have. So mm -hmm. it's such a beautiful thing that he's there for you and he's given you so much. Yeah. I also think a lot of people put God first just because uh, he's constant love and he's constant just like she said friendship and so you're able to confide in whatever you need to with God. We also asked our teens in the street if they think they put God first in their lives. Let's see what they said. Faith and religion, where does that come into your priority? I, I don't know. I don't go to church. Um, it's a very important thing. I try to make it the, um, one of the most important things in my life. That's high too, like my faith and religion. Like I believe in God or whatever. That's a high moral of God. How important is God in your life? Very important, very. Well, apparently he controls everything, so it's very important. Do you put God first in your life? Why or why not? Yes, because he's the only person I could really talk to. Not really. No, I really don't. Um, just because I'm not sure if there really is one. Actually, I have to be honest, no, I don't. And uh, I guess because I, I really don't know what I believe in. He's really important to me. I don't know if he's one of the most important things. I try to keep God up there because I think he's, like I said, he affects us all. I know I should, but I don't because of my own selfish desires and I just feed into a lot of things for myself. But um, I try to change it and sometimes I, you know, I waver, but for most of the time I try to do the right thing and like try. Uh, sometimes, like in bad times, yeah. In good times I pray at night, but not exactly first. Like, if he was, it, w it would be pretty awesome, but he's not, so that's why everything's kind of screwed up. Anybody can put God in their life, even if they don't attend church. Not too many of the teens that we interviewed put God first. That, ha that was an interesting comment, though, from the one girl who said she didn't put God first, but if she did, it would be awesome. What do you guys think about that comment? I think she wants to religion to be more to her than it is. It's good that they realize that God is one of the most important things, you know, because He is. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the reason why maybe some of them wouldn't have put God first is because it's a difficult task, I think, to keep religion and God as your first priority because it's hard to deal with situations where it's put to the test or, you know, testing your faith and stuff like that. So I think that's a lot more difficult than just being easy and not having that as your first priority. So okay. I think that's a lot of the reason also. How do you guys put God first in your life though? Because most of you answered that God was a uh, top priority. Mostly through prayer, 
going to church, celebrating the days that he gave us, but mostly prayer. Okay. I was gonna say constant yeah. communication, like praying all the time, like throughout the day, always like having a prayer on your heart. And like what Sarah said, enjoying what he's given you, like the beautiful days and stuff like that, like, you know, giving your life back to him. Yeah, I don't think that many, too, well, too many people uh, see that. Prayer, prayer is just not like going down on your knees before you go to bed and be like, oh God, thank you for this, thank you for that. You know, you just go outside, you see like a nice sunset, you're like, wow. Yeah, you know, a thought can be a prayer, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm lucky that I'm on this earth and God gave this to me. Mm. And you know, you're taking a test and you know, you're done with the test and you just sit down, wow, thanks, thanks for like making that easy for me, you know? It's just all the little things that I think God really cares about, not what you're just supposed to say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. God is so constant that I think a lot of people don't even realize that He's one of their priorities, but they kind of hold His importance in their heart. So as long as the things in your heart come through in your actions, then I think that those people, even if they don't say, you know, God is my priority, if they know that He is and they, you know, follow His teachings and everything like that, I think they're doing a good job as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, you're following your duties as a Christian if you're putting God first in your life. Not that it would be selfish not to put God first in your life, but a lot of people, like she said before, she wasn't brought up in a home where God was put first in her life, you know? So I just think it's a perspective deal also because if you're not brought up in that, you maybe haven't found out about that yet or been able to get in touch with your faith yet, you know? Exactly. You I can tell a lot about how somebody was brought up from what they believe in and how their beliefs, like how important their beliefs are to them. Mm -hmm. But it's never too late to change, remember. Remember, you're a teenager, it's your time to start, you know, finding your own priorities. You know, your parents gave you a, a basic idea of what and how you should live your life. But now that we're teenagers, it's time to, you know, maybe I should uh, look at my priorities and assess them and maybe I'm gonna make some changes. Mm -hmm. This is such a busy time in our life. We say, oh, I have the schoolwork, I have to get into college, I have to, you know, find what I want to do with the rest of my life. And we put all these things before God. But we don't th what we don't think about is that right now is the time when we form who we're going to be as adults and how we're going to raise our own children, what's going to be important to them. So it's really a great time now that we're changing, we're making our own decisions, that we can con consciously say, you know, I'm going to go to church, I'm going to find out more about my religion, and I'm going to strengthen my faith in God so that I grow up to be a faithful person and also instill that in my children. Throughout the scripture, we are told that the only way to be in a relationship with God is to make God the most important thing in our lives. Throughout salvation history, it was when the people forgot God or put God lower on their to-do list that they got into trouble. And if we look closely at our lives, we will see the same is true for us. When other things become more important to us than God, everything gets distorted. We can see it in our church, in our families, in our country, and in our personal lives. Karen talked to us about how she puts God first in her life, and about how this relationship has helped her to make the right choice in her life. Let's listen to her story now. What do you think your life would be like if God wasn't one of the most important things to you? I think it would be harder for me to explain why bad things happen or, or why things happen in life because sometimes you just say, well, God has a plan for me or this is what, this is what God wants for me even if I don't feel like it's right. And, and I think God gives me something to hope for. So yeah. if God wasn't there, I think that'd be hard. To me, I think putting God first means being kind to others, maybe giving up something that you really want for someone else if they need it more than you do. Maybe if someone forgot their lunch at school but you're really hungry, you would share it with them anyway. Something simple like that. And I think like going to church, even if you don't feel like it, yeah. you know, God appreciates that you go to church. Sometimes um, you get tempted when you're really mad to curse or say a bad word and you think I have to I have to have some self-control and I have to know that that God would maybe I could say something that's not bad yeah. and and that would just help me or I can do something else to release my anger that wouldn't be so hurtful. Um, I remember after my my prom this year um, I was at a friend's house and a lot of my friends were drinking and, and just doing some things that I didn't really agree with. And I knew that if I stayed the night that I wouldn't really feel good about myself and feel good about my decision right. staying there. 
and not agreeing with what was going on. So I decided to leave and I was happy with myself that I decided to leave and I'm sure God was too because yeah. I, that's not a choice that he agrees with either. Um, for the last couple of years, I've, I've heard from my friends and from people um, about being sexually active and participating in things like that. Um, it's, it's really hard for me to accept that and, and understand it because putting God first in your life means that you do wait until you're married right. to share in that with someone that you really love. And um, I know that I did have one friend and, and she had been seeing someone for a while and um, they started having sex. Um, and it just, I couldn't accept it. I couldn't, and it just, it upset me and disappointed me so much that our relationship grew apart. I know I've been in similar situations where I've been at a party, you know, in a room with friends and maybe they've been doing something I don't agree with and I felt like I needed to leave that room because my conscience was telling me that what they were doing was wrong. So can you guys think of any situations where uh, putting God first meant leaving a party or not doing something that all your friends were doing because you knew what was wrong? I don't think it always necessarily has to mean leaving a party. I think it could be anything that normal teenagers are susceptible to every day because it's things, normal things, like if someone was bashing on a kid in class, you don't have to go along with it because if you're sitting back and not sticking up for the person, you're just as wrong as the people that are making fun of it. So I think mm -hmm. that's a pretty good example of something that's like that. That's a good that. point, yeah. What kind of people put God first and what do you think your life would be like if you put God first? That is what we talked with our teens on the street about in the next segment. Let's check it out. What kind of people do you think put God first in their lives? Uh, religious people. <laughs> like religious people? Yeah. Like nuns and stuff? Uh, the really, you know, the really good people, you know, the people that go to church, you know, spread the word around. Like if you visualize someone who put God first in their life, what would you think of? Um, they'd probably be looked at as like a loser in society today. What do you think your life would be like if God was the most important thing to you? Um, I think I'd have a really hard time setting my priorities straight because I know he should be the first thing on my list, but he's not. I'd be a lot happier. I'd probably be a lot more peaceful <laughs> and more centered around everybody else. I'd probably be like a monk. Um, I think I'd be more involved with my church than I already am. I would care a lot more about you know other people and not think about myself as much. I think I'd be a lot more honest a lot more, and a lot more faithful. I'd make better decisions. Guys, it seems that like many of the teams felt that, their, felt that their lives would actually be like a lot more happier, better, and peaceful if they put God first. Why do you think that's so, though? I think that the problem is that uh, people are insecure. They don't want to make the change. They're afraid of the change. They don't know how life is going to be like if God was first, and they don't know how to go about making God first the first priority in their life. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of people realize that something's missing in their life. And in the beginning, they might not know what that is, but when they figure out that it's God, they don't know if they're ready to make that big commitment, like Martin said, because it's a huge deal to commit yourself to God. Mm -hmm. It's a huge deal, but it's also, I mean, some people probably won't think that they'll fit in, and it's not cool to like God or to love God or to admit that you talk to God because <laughs> He doesn't answer back. So a lot of it has to do with fitting in, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. You know, in the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus even goes so far as to say that if you love your parents or children or anyone more than him, then you aren't worthy of him. Even the people that we love and who we spend most of the time with should come second to God. Prayer is one of the ways that Karen puts God first in her life. Let's hear the rest of her story now. I think prayer is a really important part of um, being, maintaining your religious beliefs also. Um, just talking to God and letting Him know how you're feeling, even though He really does know how you're feeling. Talking to Him and even though you're, you're not getting an answer like you would talking to a person in real life, you're getting, you know that through prayer God is with you, God is listening to you and, and because you're taking the time to talk to Him, 
he's, he's giving you his grace. And I know that I pray a lot in the car. My family and I, whenever we would get in the car, and we still do this, we would always say three Hail Marys to just let us have a safe trip and, and get us where we're going safely. And so now several times after I say my three Hail Marys, um, I'll just keep praying till you know I get wherever I'm going and I just, about things and I'll, I'll talk to God. When I pray to God, I ask him for guidance and I ask him for help to, to do the right thing and give me the opportunity to be kind to people. Um, um, I've been told to just to just trust in God when, when I'm troubled about things and to pray to him and everything will work out okay. I like how she says she prays in her car, car all the time. I don't drive yet, but I think that's a great idea. Yeah, I think that some people don't realize that you can really pray anywhere. God is everywhere, and He knows your thoughts, so you can just talk to Him anytime you want. Our video today is so cool. The title alone tells you that it is all about putting God first. It is called There is Only You by the Small Town Poets. All right, let's check it out.
I really liked that video. It was so funny and it really showed that no matter where you are, what you're doing, even if it's like really weird or really scary, God is always the ultimate thing. And even if you've, you know, recognized that you've put other things before him in the past, you realize that he's the most important thing no matter what kind of goals you have here and how you try to achieve them. He's always there and he's always the ultimate thing in your life. Yep. It also shows like that God, you can always trust him. Like, you know, in the beginning of the video, they're like at the, the agent or manager, or whatever he was, and he's like, I'll take you right to the top and everything. And they're like, yeah, yeah. And they end up going to some Elk Club cakewalk. You know? <laughs> I don't know, that's not, uh, it's not that high up, but you know, and he was, real, he was singing, he's realizing like, you know what, there's only you. You know, God, you're, you're the only one. You're the one that I'm going to trust, and you're the one that's going to get me through all my hard times, especially mm -hmm. this one. And when the people were doing like the cakewalk, and so, someone said, like, it doesn't get any better than this. They're like, mm -hmm. some people actually think that. And the point is that it, it does get better than that. And that, like, God is, like, the epitome of that because he mm -hmm. is better than other. Some people are easily amused. And, <laughs> hey, that might have been the best it gets. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, there are a lot of steps in your life that you'll take and a lot of goals that you'll set. And they m won't always come true. I mean, you might want to go to a certain college or something like that. You just have to remember that your number one priority, if it's God, you'll find strength and accept whatever His calling is for you. Making a relationship with God our most important relationship is something that takes practice. Like any relationship, it requires putting quality time in and allowing ourselves to love and be loved. It also requires listening on our part and hearing what God wants for us. St. Paul told us to pray constantly. That's a tall order. But if we live for God and do everything for God and make decisions based on what God would want for us, then our life is a prayer. Do you put God first in your life? We want to know. Contact us through our website. Post your thoughts on our message boards or drop us an email. Our address is www.realfaithtv.com. If you're not connected to the internet, you can call us at area code 609-406-7402. And remember, when we do put God first, everything else in our lives will fall into place. Thanks for joining us today. We will see you next time on, on Real, Real Faith, Faith TV. TV. God bless.